Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I sure did miss each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your encouraging words and for supporting my channel here. I feel so wonderful to talk to you about Jesus and about my life and about the things that I've been going through. And I feel privileged to know you here on YouTube. Today, I just want to talk to you about things that you already know, but to encourage you in the Lord. And today, I wanted to read to you uh, something uh, that we all should know. You know, in the world we're living in today, there's so much wickedness going on. There's so much hatred going on for mankind. And it really doesn't matter who you are, uh, what skin color you are. There's so much hatred in this world. And what makes us Christians different is our love one for the other. And I wanted to read in First Thessalonians. It says, See that ye render evil things. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Can you imagine what our world would be like if we did not render evil for evil? Okay. Um, another place, it says in Malachi, Rejo Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. Wow. God is our light in the midst of darkness. And though our enemies do try to rejoice over us and think that they have conquered us, God is our light in the midst of darkness. He is our help. Where does my help come from? It comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. So we don't have to be like everyone else. And I know I said this in another video earlier, but it's just the time for it. That you have to cheer up and realize that, you know, you are very special to God and He's got a plan for your life and He will shine a light in your darkness. The things that are happening now are not always going to happen. You know, Jesus is coming back and He is going to get all of His beloved children in a moment and twinkling and by the last trump. We're not going to suffer forever. You know, this is temporary. But while we're here, we need to be a blessing to everyone around us. We don't have to be evil because other people are choosing to do evil to us. You know, I'm going to tell you what happened to me. A black man came up to me in the grocery store while I was in San Antonio. And he goes, I like your white skin. And you know what I said to him? I went right close to him like this, like this close to him. And I said, you know what? Thank you so much for saying that to me because I've been in my cave for 60 days and I haven't talked to anyone. And my twin sister just recently passed away. And I want you to know something. I like your brown skin too. And I want you to do also to know that God loves each. I said, I know there's a lot of prejudice going on right now, but God loves you and he loves me. He loves everyone. And he was speechless. He couldn't say anything to me. And this is what I'm trying to say that no matter what happens, you know, maybe someone is being mean to you or maybe they're making you feel belittled, regardless of what skin color you are. It doesn't matter. Uh, you have to show the love of Jesus. You know, whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're oriental, whether you're Hispanic, God wants you to follow his law as a Christian, to show the love of Jesus to everyone. And there's a lot, a lot of bad things going on right now in this society where people are taking law into their own hands. But you know what true justice is? It comes from God. True justice comes from Lord God Almighty. It doesn't come from, sometimes we can't get it the way we want it, but acting out and destroying people and killing people and hurting people is not the ways of the Lord. And so I just want to speak my voice to be heard that no matter who you are, choose to do what is right because God loves you. And because he, he wants you to be like him. And the enemy will not always rejoice. He will be defeated. You know, and Jesus is going to come back. And I just want you to know that, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that I'm praying for each and every one of you. Continue to pray for me. And let's continue to be show the love of God no matter what color we are. Or no matter what race we are. If you belong to Christ, you're in the body of Christ. And I've had to learn some lessons myself about prejudice and about how to treat people and you know the thing about it is you know if you're in Christ then there is no color there is no race okay 
All who worship Christ, all who worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth, regardless of what the race is. The Bible says to go into all the world and preach the good news to every living creature. Okay? So it doesn't matter where a person's background is or who they are. When they have Jesus, they're your brother or sister in Christ. And in heaven, you know, my twin sister, my mom, all my family, all the women in my family are in heaven now. I'm the only woman left in my family. The only one left. But all the women in my family, you know, uh, they're in heaven. And I know that heaven is made up of, of multi cultures and colors. It's not just made up of the white man. It's not just made up of the black man. It's not just made up of other people. God created each and every one of us and he wants us to show that love to one another okay and so I have to practice what I preach I can't just tell you to love people and then I hate people myself and I treat them like trash because I I disagree with them or I don't like their skin you know so I have to practice what I preach and today you know maybe you're in a situation where you're experiencing prejudiced I want you to forgive that person and realize that you can be an example to that person of the love of Jesus and change their life and show them it's not about the skin it's about who you are on the inside you show that person that you're gonna love them no matter how they feel about you because honestly as a Christian you're gonna suffer persecution regardless of what color you are you know the the Bible tells us that you know, if you live, all who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Okay? All who live godly in Christ Jesus is going to suffer. We can't get away from it, no matter how hard we try. We can't get away from persecution or suffering or being mocked or ridiculed. It's just a part of a Christian life. And so today, I just wanted to come and encourage you in Christ to keep uh, showing the love of Jesus and keep being your wonderful, loving self, regardless of what's going on in this world, and to do what's right. Well, I've got to go. May the Lord bless you, keep you, and cause his face to shine upon you, and give you peace in the midst of everything in this world, okay? And remember, this too shall pass. Love and blessings from Texas, y'all. See you next week.